couple Sundays ago, I was invited by my own daughter to come in to a television set and to watch a religious singing that Sunday morning. I wanted to hear old Roberts on his program. I told him, let me know. I said, you hear this? This is a great hymn saying. My son standing there told me about it. Two. I turned that set we rent from a woman that has the television in her house. I never intend to have one in my house. No, sir. I want that thing in my house. I'd blow it out with my shotgun. <laughs> Nothing to do with that evil thing, no, sir. The things of the world has so captured the church in these days. And Satan had a rude way of doing it to bring in the televisions right into the homes and things and corrupting the minds of the people until today that, that a great percent of the church that calls themselves Christians will stay home from prayer meeting on a Wednesday night to get to see some favorite program of somebody from Hollywood or somewhere that oughtn't even be put out. Uh, on the screen, maybe living with three or four husbands or wives and carrying on and living all kinds of life, go out on drunk parties and smoking and lying and everything that can be done that's wrong. And our churches are fashioning themselves, even our dress in this day becomes after Hollywood. All of them. See? Why is it you like your television programs more than you care about reading the Bible? See? You, you make those people your example instead of God's Word. See? Now, that has got to be judgment. It's constantly getting worse and worse. Now, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thy in thy house shall be saved. Believe what? Believe the Lord Jesus Christ for your house. Apply the token to your house. Then what do you do when you apply it to your house? Move all the trash out. Get all the short skirts, and the shorts, and the cards, and the cigarettes, and Amen. televisions, and Amen. whatever more, and kick them out the door. Amen. You apply the token. We stand still for it. Yes, sir. Take it all out. All the dances and parties and rock and roll and old vulgar newspapers and the stuff that's of the world. Kick it out the door. They we're cleaning up this place around here. You fathers, you mothers, are you ready to establish a halter in your house and take that television out? Amen. Amen. Are you ready to take that deck of cards off the table, them comic books at your children's reading? Amen. Preparing your little minds for a blast that the devil's going to give them. Are you ready to establish the old family altar again? Or do you just want to continue on the way you are? If you want to continue on, you're not in condition of coming yet. But I pray that you're like Samson. You see the price and you're ready. Lord, let me die with him. First question tonight. Brother Branham, I think television is a curse to the world. What do you think about Well, ever who wrote it, I'm going to agree with you. They have made it a curse to the world. It could be a blessing to the world. But they've made it a curse. Anything like that, my dear people, is what you look at yourself. If television is a curse, then the newspaper is a curse then the radio is a curse and many times the telephone is. It's what you make out of it. But being that the brother said the other night that there's hardly any programs on the television anymore, there's too much money if poor preachers that preaches a full gospel can't afford a program on the television. So therefore... Brother said to the night, it'll be somewhere, said, dust off your radio or somebody, or bring you back out of the corner and listen to them programs. That's right. But dear person, ever who you are, I certainly agree with it. It's become one of the most damnable things to the human race.